Hello friends, welcome to the 100th session of Hybris tutorial on the Hybris tube. Guys, in this session, we are going to learn about the WCMS. So guys, I am going to create a complete WCMS series and this is the first video of the WCMS series. In this series, I am going to explain the WCMS concept in detail. So what we are going to learn in this video, in this video, we are going to see what is WCMS and what is its use in the Hybris perspective. Then guys, we are going to see the WCMS module in Hybris. I will actually show the WCMS module in Hybris. Then guys, we are going to see the overview of base site, base store. When you are creating a base site, right? How it looks, how those the configurations of the base site, base store, and what is the difference between base site and base store? We are going to see everything in this video. After that, guys, I will be giving you the detailed explanation of various terminologies which we used in the WCMS module. I will be even showing you the data structure of those various components which we will be using in the WCMS. Finally, guys, I will be showing you a working example where I will be using the WCMS concept. So this video is a complete video and is going to be very helpful if you have started learning the WCMS in Hybris. So guys, before starting anything, before even writing the definition of WCMS, let me show you the use of WCMS in Hybris. Guys, if you see any website which is built in Hybris, for example, this is a b2c accelerator storefront website and why i am able to open this website because i have done the setup of b2c accelerator in my local if you have not done this setup you can watch my video on the b2c accelerator setup using the 2211 version of hybris and you can also do this setup in your local system so you can watch the video by clicking on the link which is given in the description box as well as on the top right corner in the card section but since i have already done this setup that is why i am able to open this website Now guys, if you see this website, there are many pages on this website. For example, this is the home page of this website, right? Similarly, if I click on any product, then you will see we will be opening the PDP page, right? Which will be basically explaining this product in the detail. And there you can even add a product into the cart also. And if you click on the checkout, you will be able to open the cart page also, right? But basically, this website has many pages, right? And if you have to develop this website in a traditional Java project, what you would do, guys, you would have created multiple JSPs, right? For example, I will have a one JSP with the name homepage.jsp and there I will be, you know, start defining the different, different components, right? I would be start defining the banner component. Then I would be start defining the different product categories. Everything I will be start defining in that JSP page only, in that single JSP page only right or we can even include multiple JSPs also in a single JSP right but this is how what we will be doing if we are developing this website in a Java project similarly for a PDP we will have a separate JSP for the PDP page but we will have the JSP concept but guys in the hybrids also we have the JSPs right we have the JSP for example I will have a home page dot JSP for the home page right there I can include the multiple JSPs but whatever the components I have to show in that JSP for example this is the banner component right similarly there are other sections also those sections or those components i can configure at runtime which means at runtime i can remove this component at runtime i can add a new component right and how i am able to do this i am able to do this using the wcms concept which means 
a WCMS is a separate module which is basically handed over to the business users and using the WCMS concept at the runtime they can add a new component they can modify the existing component or they can remove the existing component from the website as per the requirement for example today is a black friday right if today is a black friday i have to show here a beautiful black friday right banner so how i will do in a traditional java project if you had to do you have to do the corresponding code changes right or corresponding changes in the jsp file and then you would be deploying your application again but here there is no need of a technical person business will be given the wcms module and using the wcms module they will be able to you know add a beautiful banner of black friday in the home page i hope now you understand or you have a very brief feeling what is wcms and what is the use of wcms and why wcms is you know is a beneficial for the business users how we use the wcms right and how wcms module looks like that is what we are going to see in some time right how we use the wcms and how the wcm module looks like this is what we are going to see in this video but i hope now it is clear to you how the wcms module is giving edge to a hybrid project over the traditional java project because using the wcm module you can change the ui look and feel at the runtime without the use of or without the need of redeployment or code changes in the application now guys firstly we will be seeing what is the wcms and what is full form of wcms so guys i can write over here wcms stands for wcms stands for web wcms stands for web content web content management system web content management system okay so i hope this definition is clear to you that wcms is web content management system and we can also safely write based on the discussion we have done till now that all the ui all the ui all the ui which we see on hybris storefront hybris storefront is defined using the wcms concept as i already explained you all the pages for example home page pdp page cart page all the pages are defined using the wcms concept and because of the wcms concept only you can change the ui at the runtime right i hope guys this is clear to you now guys if i open the back office if i open the back office right i am opening the back office i am running on the port number 9022 in your case you will be able to open the back office on the port number 9002 in case you have not done any specific changes i did this because i am running two different hybrid servers at the same time that is why i am running one hybrid server on port number 9002 and another on 9022 okay now you can see i am able to open the back office now guys i will show you how the wcms module looks like in the back office if you see over here guys we have this wcms right we have this navigation node and here in the wcms guys we have multiple options we have the website we have the page type page template content slot relation for a page template page content slot similarly there are many other options right we are going to see some of the options in this video but other options we will be covering in the remaining video of this wcms series right but guys if you see if i open uh, the website right if i open that website 
and if you see i am opening here april site right i can even open a electronic site also so you can see i am opening the electronic site and the electronic site will be completely different from the april site if you see even the look and feel of and, and the products also which means the content data as well as the product data are also different in the electronic website uh, if you compare with the april website right so how these different different websites are defined right these all or websites are also defined under the wcms module if you see i have gone into the website section and here we have defined the multiple websites this question is also asked in the interview questions if you have to create a new website what all are the changes you need to do so firstly what are the various components used in the wcms we will write those so i can say over here different terminologies different terminologies used in the used in the wcms module what are the different terminologies which are used in the wcms module the first one is guys page okay the first one is page second one is the page template second one is the page template okay the third one is basically the content slot name third one is the content slot name and what are these we will be explaining you in some time fourth one is content slot and these are very important when i will be showing you a working example i will be using these terminologies right very aggressively uh, in that example so just try to understand this concept very carefully okay the fourth one is the content slot and the final is component okay we will see what is component what is the use of component but i hope guys these are the various you know various features or various terminologies which we will be using in the wcms module we will try to see all these all these things in detail right i will even show you the data structure also for all these five items the first one is the page guys and now guys the sync has been completed and let's see whether we have the online instance or not you can see i have the online instances and if you guys don't see the online instances please check, check your sync job if you see any issues in your sync job you can run the impex manually using the online catalog but i hope till this point it is clear to you and after making all of the changes let's see whether we have the whether we have the requested text on the site or not so i have just refreshed my website and then we will see whether we have the requested text or not so you can see we have now the requested text right welcome to the hybrid tube over here i hope guys this is clear to you how you can bring in this video guys i have explained you in detail right what is component right what is content slot how the component and content slot are linked with each other right and then what is content slot for name what is the use of content slot for name right then what is page and page template how the content slot is mapped with page or page template whether they have direct mapping or they have indirect mapping right and what is the use of content slot for page and content slot for template i have explained you all and everything with the detail example also i hope guys this video is informative for you but guys this is not only the single video in the wcms i will create more videos there i will create 
some type of customization also where i will be creating custom components i will be creating a custom page or page template also so stay tuned to our videos and guys if you like our content please subscribe to our channel and like this video and also please share this channel with your friends thank you for watching bye